So how do you propose we solve this problem? Uh, well, uh, uh, I think we uh, we uh, inject uh, in, in, inject inject the uh, spaceship with uh, a thing so it, it it downloads it downloads this uh, this virus into it and uh, we uh, we give it a cold uh, uh, we give it a cold yeah. Again, guys, and welcome to a new segment on my channel, which is going to be called "A Film for Every Year of My Life." Yeah, that's pretty self-explanatory, isn't it? In this segment, I'm basically going to be discussing uh, films that I have in my collection that uh, were released in every year of my life. Um, I was born on the 21st of August in 1996, so we'll start with a film from 1996. So, guys, the film I've chosen is Independence Day. Uh, which is 19 years old. Dear God, where's the time going? Um, by next year, it'll be 20 years old. Uh, and the sequel is being released next year, and I'll be 20. Another scary thought. Independence Day stars Jeff Goldblum, Will Smith, Bill Pullman, and a selection of others, including Randy Quaid, who's really the only other... Notable actor, I, I think, in this world. Also, you have uh, Vivica Fox, but I never really cared for her in this. But yeah, the three main actors, Jeff Goldblum, Will Smith, and Bill Pullman, they all, they all have three separate stories at the beginning, but they all tie in towards the end. The thing to note about Independence Day is, for the time at least, it's special effects. Now, yes, it's some of the effects have aged, aged absolutely terribly. Absolutely terribly. I mean, there's some shots when you have the fighter pilots flying towards the spaceship, and they literally look like PS2 graphics. It's it's horrible to look at. But some effects, like um, the spaceships uh, opening up the blasters and um, destroying uh, landmarks like uh, the White House and the Empire State Building, and do the destroy the Taj Mahal on this? I'm not sure if they do. I don't remember the aliens having a particular prejudice against the Indian community, but maybe that's just me. But the cast in this, the cast is what really makes it. I mean, you have Will Smith, who I think was, uh, at the time, the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, I think it was still going at this time. Uh, I know it ended sometime, like, it definitely ended... In 96 or 97 so Will Smith is basically the most famous man in the world I think at this time and then you have Bill Pullman who is arguably the best movie president since Harrison Ford in Air Force One who is still awesome but um, yeah Bill Pullman phenomenal job in this, this here film I mean yeah some of his dialogue is campy and um, and really, you know, overly sentimental. Some of the parts. I mean, the you know, the actual speech he gives to the troops, like the night before the fly against the spaceship, is well, it is an awesome speech. It's so, you know, it's so it has that vibe. You know, America, fuck yeah, you know, that sort of vibe to it. And it, it is really over the top, but you know, you do have to have that awesome line in it. We're going to live on. We're going to survive. Today, we celebrate our Independence Day. Yeah, that is really cheesy. And then, last but certainly not least, you have uh, 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 Jeff Goldblum. Uh, uh, excuse me, uh, you, you are going to have dinosaurs on your, on your dinosaur tour, aren't you? Uh, you box it up, you package it, and you, you sold it. You sold it. Yeah. Oh my god, I love Jeff Goldblum. I mean, why isn't he in more films? Why isn't he? I mean... Everybody wants them to be. I mean, uh, as far as I know, uh, they're not. Um, he isn't doing a, a, cam a, a cameo in Jurassic World, which I think is a really big mistake because Jeff Goldblum, you know, uh, Ian Malcolm, is his character in the uh, original two Jurassic Parks was arguably the most popular character. You know, it's been 
14 years since the last Jurassic Park and I think you really need something to sell it to the older fans and me especially because I really you know I'm looking forward to Jurassic World but I'm really I'm really skeptical about it I just don't th I think it's going to be overproduced overhyped over CGI'd that was the beauty of the original one I know I'm going on a segue from Independence Day here but that was the beauty of the original Jurassic Park I mean Yes, he used CGA when I needed to use it, but it was all practical effects, and that was part of the magic of it. But anyway, back to Independence Day, yeah, just a great cast who make for some great dialogue, great moments. Um, someone else I should also mention in this is uh, Harvey Firestein, who, he hasn't really done much either, but um, he's in this. He was also in um, Mrs. Doubtfire, he played uh, Robin Williams' uh, brother in it. Um, He's in this, and it's like this great scene. It's like, David, oh my god, David, oh my god, help, help, oh my god. Well, why, what's gonna happen? In a, in a, 80, 60 minutes, it's a checkmate. Oh my god, oh my god, David, I gotta call my housekeeper, I gotta call my lawyer. Ah, oh, forget my lawyer. Yeah, that is that's an absolutely hilarious scene. If if you haven't seen that scene at least, you should you should go and Google it. It's absolutely amazing. Yeah, it's directed by um Roland Emmerich, who two years later went on to direct the steaming pile of Kaidong that we know as Godzilla. Yeah, but however, I think his direction and this is absolutely amazing. I mean, um. I mentioned the special effects earlier. I think the way he's directed them, it makes them seem that much more grand and really realistic as well. I mean, like the thing I took away from this film more is it really makes you ask yourself the question, if aliens invaded and they were hostile because in this they're like they're really bad. Like they're really bad aliens and you know they're just out to kill and they don't care about anything and it makes you wonder if if this really happened and aliens did invade, you know, would we survive? I don't think we would. Not in the society we live in nowadays where we're all hooked up to the iCloud and everything. And, you know, if aliens wanted to invade us, they'd literally just need to download the iCloud and they know everything about us, all our weaknesses and everything. We wouldn't stand a chance. But enough about my rant about Doomsday. Um, I think everyone should at least see this once in their life. It's cheesy, it's campy as hell, it's... A pure 1990s summer blockbuster film. Um, some parts do drag a bit, but overall, it's it's thoroughly enjoyable. I mean, it's actually it's two and a half hours long, which is surprisingly long for a 90s film. But um, yeah, it, it has a long runtime, but it, it really is. It's so entertaining. I highly recommend it, guys. If if you haven't seen it, please do give it a watch. Um, it's it's just fun to have a couple of friends around, get some popcorn, some beers. Let's sit down and watch it and let the magic unfold. So guys, that was 1986. Um, join me at the same time next week uh, for 1997. Um, I haven't quite decided what film to do yet. But, um, well, I have it down to two that I'm going to decide on during the week. Um, how... How's the satin, guys? Do you like the satin? Um, I know I have a couple of flags behind me, but I feel I can use my hands more and I'm not as restricted as I was. Um, I know my equipment and my setup is shit. It is really cheap, but I'm going to try my best and just, as I keep going with YouTube, I'm going to try and get better equipment. But enough of that, guys. Please join me next week for 1987, uh, the second week. So anyway, guys, yeah, if you enjoyed this, please like it. Uh, subscribe, comment, everything and anything down below. I love to hear what you guys think, as always. Some of you have been very vocal with me. I know it's only been a couple of people, but it still means the world to me that people are commenting on it. Um, yeah, I love to hear what you guys think. Um, if you haven't done so already, check out my last video, annotation will be there somewhere, probably, um, where I quickly review Game of Thrones Season 1. I've started season two, I'm on episode three now. Um yeah, I, I review it. It gets kinda of weird, but uh that's what we all love, isn't it? So guys, I'll see you all later. Thanks very much for watching. Bye.